I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. It's our final calm before the storm here in South Jersey. Let's take a look at what we have across the area. We have a high wind warning in effect for the shoreline from 6 p.m. night until 6 a.m. on Thursday. And then we have another thing starting at 6 p.m. And that is a coastal flood warning that's in effect from 6 p.m. Wednesday until 3 p.m. Thursday for Cumberland, Cape May, Atlantic, Eastern Burlington, as well as Ocean Counties here. Here's what to expect if you're along the shore or in mainland Cape May County. Rain starts early this afternoon between 1 to 3 p.m. and then continues throughout the afternoon into the evening, into the overnight hours and ends early Thursday morning. Roadway flooding will be possible. No snow will be likely with this. It's going to be too warm for them, but we are talking about stronger, even damaging winds tonight and then moderate flooding with that Thursday morning high tide over on the mainland in Atlantic and Ocean County as well as all of Cumberland County rain starts 1 to 3 p.m. Now if you're well inland we're talking about Shiloh, Stowe Creek, Bridgeton, Upper Deerfield, Hamilton Township well yes yeah, snow will be possible during that time and into the afternoon but it will be all rain Wednesday evening into the overnight and then we could end as a little bit of snow as we get into the end time here between 6 to 9 a.m. on Thursday otherwise it's a breezy but it's not windy and definitely not the damaging wind variety though there will be toppled over loose objects so for today we're talking about temperatures that rise into the 40s for the afternoon and actually our highest temperatures will be during the evening here tonight we'll be near 50 in cape may then we'll be near 40 in hamilton so a little bit of a contrast of temperatures here because of the warmer ocean waters on that east southeasterly wind that will eventually develop here. If you look at our daytime planner, if you want to go for a run this morning, you're good for that. Outdoor dining, not good. Lunch and dinner is not going to be a nice time if you're going to be outside. But Smithville and Cape May shopping, some issues there just because of later in the day with the rain construction work you'll have most of the day for that but not the whole day for that so here's a look at the snow to come going with all rain for most of cape may county into epsican island into brigantine even the southern tip of lbi summer's points included in that too otherwise a trace to a half inch forever are shaded in this light blue and this darker blue a half inch to two a matter of miles is going to make all the difference here, especially as you make your way towards the turnpike corridor. It is possible that we go from 2 to 10 inches of snow in a 20-mile span here somewhere around Philadelphia, which makes it a very challenging forecast over there. Here's a look at our rainfall totals between that 1.5 to 2 inches with this storm. That's why we're talking about areas of roadway flooding. Even some streak and creek, stream and creek flooding will not be ruled out. And then with our winds here, they are going to be whipping as we go into the overnight hours here. 55 miles an hour gusts for most of the shore, even most of Cape May County. Pretty much in short, if you're not going to see the snow, you're going to see the strongest winds, and that's where we're talking about power outage potential. For our coastal flooding, last night we were good here across the area. No flood stage, thankfully, this morning. Looks like Cape May is going to get just in the minor flood stage. That's our nuisance kind of flooding. Move your cars if you need to, and don't drive through the flooded waters. The bigger concern will be the more widespread flooding with the Wednesday p.m. high tides, as well as the Thursday morning high tide, which will be moderate flood stage, and that's when we can be talking about some more serious issues. If we look at our forecast at tide heights for the Thursday morning high tide, you'd have to go back to Sandy to see something that high at Barnegat Light in Atlantic City and Cape May. You'd have to go back a little over two years, and that was a significant flood that we had in October of 2018. In August of 2020 was the last time we had a tide height that high in Bivalve. These are solid, moderate flood stage. We're not talking about major flood stage. Those would be bigger problems, and that's what we saw during Sandy, and we got real close to in October of 2018. 2018, but I just want to paint the picture that it's been a while since we've seen flooding like this. Here's a look at our mainland seven day forecast. Most of your day Thursday is going to be dry. It's going to be a chilly day as well. It's going to be a cold Friday too. Temperatures start to moderate as we go into our last weekend before Christmas. It's kind of going to be a 50 50 weekend. Saturday will be the drier of the two days. I still don't expect Sunday to be a washout here in the area. And as we go into Monday and Tuesday, seasonable with a good amount of sun. We'll be keeping you updated on this all day long and into the overnight hours. You know, we're find me on social media. We'll give you the latest there and you can subscribe to my newsletter which comes out every morning in your inbox at thepressofac.com slash weather.